Right now on Good Morning Northwest, a suspect has been identified in the fatal shooting that took place in Ellensburg Friday afternoon. And with rising concern over the safety of air travel, a Boeing flight lost part of the plane on a trip from San Francisco to Medford. And meteorologist Tiffany Savona has your full forecast. Good Morning Northwest starts right now. This is Apple Valley News Now. Good Morning Northwest on your side. Good morning and thank you for joining us for Good Morning Northwest. I'm Riley Fitzgerald in for Jessica Jalal this morning. It's 5 o'clock on Monday, March 18th. So let's check in right away this morning on your forecast with meteorologist Tiffany Savona. Tiffany, it was a beautiful weekend. Are those conditions continuing? are. In fact, it'll be a little bit warmer today and tomorrow, Riley. Near record warmth today and tomorrow. And yesterday was our first 70 degree day across many locations. We hit 73 in the Tri-Cities, 73 in Yakima, 72 Hermiston, Walla Walla, we were in the upper 60s, but I think everyone will see 70s this afternoon. Right now, it's a chilly start. We're down into the 30s, middle 30s in the Tri-Cities, mid-30s in the Yakima Valley, and we have 40s, mid to over 40s across the foothills of the Blues. So certainly a chilly start, but we are going to warm up very quickly today. Remember, the air is extremely dry, so dry air, it cools efficiently. It also warms very efficiently. That's why we have a large range in the low and high temperature for the day. So 40s this morning, we're into the middle 50s around middle 60s rather by noon and then highs in the low and middle 70s later on today. So enjoy it. The nice weather is not going to last all week long. We'll let you know when we'll see a cool down and when rain chances return coming up. Riley, back to you. Thank you, Tiffany. A boy is dead after a fatal shooting in the parking lot of an Ellensburg Jack in the Box Friday afternoon. The Ellensburg Police Department said it has identified the boy suspected in the shooting. Authorities say they would only release that he's a 17 year old boy and because he's a juvenile, they would not be releasing his name or photograph. They said a warrant has been issued for his arrest. At this time, it's not known where the suspected shooter is and the identity of the person who was killed has not yet been officially released. The Kittitas County Coroner told Apple Valley News Now the person who died is also a young man. The gunman has been described as a 17-year-old male with facial tattoos that include a cross with, uh, with dark hair in a mullet style. He was last seen wearing a black jacket with a hood, light colored jeans and white shoes. Authorities say they do not believe the shooting to be a random act of violence and they believe the shooter and the victim were known to one another. If anyone has any information or potential identification of a person matching this description, contact 911 immediately. A 20 year old Union Gap woman is dead after a two vehicle crash in Yakima early Saturday morning. According to Washington State Patrol, both vehicles were heading eastbound on Interstate 82 near milepost 35 when the woman's vehicle struck the rear of another at a high rate of speed. The woman was pronounced dead at the scene. No one in the other vehicle was injured. WSP says she was not wearing her seatbelt. A United Airlines flight that landed Friday afternoon in Medford, Oregon, arrived without one of its external panels, airport officials say. The missing panel was underneath the plane near the landing gear. United Flight 433 left San Francisco Friday morning and landed at Rogue Valley International Medford Airport just before noon. A ground crew doing a post-flight inspection discovered one of the plane's external panels was no longer there. The airport paused operations so crews could check the runway and surrounding areas for the panel, but nothing was found. Airport officials say the plane did not experience any abnormal operations and landed without alerting pilots that there was an ongoing issue. That's why an emergency was not declared. United Airlines officials say they were investigating how the panel could have ripped off. They said the plane will be repaired and will undergo an examination before it is returned to service. A former Richland physician and a health care staffing company have agreed to pay uh, agreed to a $700,000 settlement over allegations of participating in a Medicare kickback scheme. According to the U.S. Attorney for Eastern Washington, Dr. William Edward Salko and Jackson and Coker Locum Tenens LLC allegedly schemed to bill Medicare for unnecessary medical equipment and diagnostic lab testing. 
The settlement agreement says the LLC cooperated with the investigation and took action to improve legal and compliance efforts related to, uh, to placing providers with telemedicine clients. An alert for Pasco drivers as two construction projects this week will impact traffic. According to the city, road pavement work on West Argent Road between Varney Lane and Road 36 begins today, running through Friday, March 22nd. Drivers should expect intermittent lane closures each day between 7 in the morning and 5 p.m. Work on the Broadmoor Boulevard roadway restoration starts tomorrow, March 19th, to Wednesday, March 20th. Broadmoor Boulevard between Burns and Dent Roads will be closed. An informal shooting range on Durr Road near Ellensburg will close until further notice starting today. According to the Washington Department of Wildlife, that closure allows work crews to begin constructions, uh, construction on an official shooting range. It will sport a 100-yard firing range, a 25-yard firing range, and a shotgun area. A parking lot will be added to decrease wildfire risk and add backstops and berms. Straight ahead on Good Morning Northwest, the use of a new cannabis compound that's sometimes marketed as a legal alternative to weed may be more concerning than initially thought especially as its use rises amongst teens. And a live look outside right now. Um, <laughs> we'll be back with more headlines right after this. Time for a new roof? Let m and Roofing replace it with the product so good, you'll never have to replace it again. All roofs come with the limited lifetime warranty. Never replace your roof again. With the rain and wind comes roof damage. Don't wait till it's an emergency. Call today to receive 0% financing on approved credit. So if it's time for a new roof or siding, let Eminent Roofing replace it with our certified installers. Because when it's all said and done, this is the sign you'll want your yard. Obesity is a complex disease. They are the new drugs sparking the weight loss revolution. All of a sudden I felt like I was freed. But there's confusion and controversy. Let's stop the shaming and blaming. Shame, blame, and the weight loss revolution. Tonight on ABC. To see if you qualify for Hanford Worker Compensation, please call Smart Law for a free consultation at 1-877-630-1122. Workers and the families of deceased workers who worked at the Hanford site are now eligible for compensation for diseases and illnesses, including neurological respiratory and heart conditions, cancers, and beryllium-related disorders. This may be an addition to compensation already being received. Call Smart Law at 1-877-630-1122 for Hanford Worker Compensation. Smart Law in Yakima and Tri-Cities. For 600 different cigars and 125 pipe tobaccos, it's the Educated Cigar. For every cigar rated 96 and higher by Cigar Aficionado, it's the Educated Cigar. For 200 accessories, including dozens of humidors and fine pipes, it's the Educated Cigar. At the Educated Cigar, you can enjoy your favorite adult beverage and food from the on-site bar and restaurant while smoking and viewing the big game. Family owned and operated since 1998, open seven days a week. How does free college or career training sound? It's possible. Washington College Grant is one of the most generous financial aid programs in the country. Eligible Washington residents can get free money for certificate programs, job training, apprenticeships, or college. You can go full-time or part-time, so you can work and continue your education at the same time. Learn more at wagrant.org. That's wagrant.org. The average cost of hearing aids is nearly $5,000, but now you can buy a full pair of rechargeable, wireless, nearly invisible, easy to use, and comfortable hearing devices for only $99, but only from Audion. It's easy to use. They're small. A pair of $99 Audion Atoms can be sold over the phone without having to see a doctor or audiologist. Call to order. 1-800-617-3809. Before you head for the slopes, catch the Apple Valley News Now Northwest Ski Report. It's on air during weather, online at applevalleynewsnow.com or on our mobile app. The Northwest Ski Report from Apple Valley News Now, sponsored by Schweitzer Mountain Resort in Sandpoint, Idaho. Find a Kubota dealer near you at gokubota.com. Welcome back. It's a cannabis compound that's sometimes referred to as THC light. 
But a new study is sounding an alarm on the rise in the number of teens using products which contain Delta-8 THC. Mandy Gaither has a look at the data and explains why researchers call this a potential public health concern. It's a new psychoactive substance, sometimes marketed as a legal alternative to weed. And researchers say more teens are using the cannabis compound known as Delta-8 THC. It could impact proper development of the brain and um, a whole host of other types of consequences. Adam Leventhal is author of a study published in JAMA that relied on school survey data from 12th graders. We were really surprised to see uh, 11 percent, so more than one in 10 teens in, in America, were using these products at least once in the past year. And a good portion of them um, we're not just experimenting. The drug comes in many forms that may appeal to teens like gummies and vaping cartridges. Leventhal says unlike weed, there are no age restrictions for buying Delta 8 in most states where the product is legal. And he says it's not regulated either. So we don't know if these products have impurities and potential toxic byproducts and we don't know even what's in them. Scientists don't fully understand what effects Delta-8 may have on teens. There are no large medical studies to show exactly how it affects the body, especially one still developing. We know that the market for addictive substances moves much more quickly than sometimes we do in public health and research. And we've already seen a teen uh, epidemic of e-cigarette use we don't want to see the same thing play out with these hemp-derived cannabis products. I'm Mandy Gaither. Leventhal says he hopes the research encourages parents and caregivers to talk to teens about these substances and the concerns over potential adverse health effects from using them. Measles cases in the U.S. have reached a troubling benchmark. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention have, has reported 58 confirmed cases in 17 states. That's as many as all of last year. The most recent outbreak happened in Chicago with 12 cases this year. But for context, the U.S. saw 121 cases back in 2022. Those were confined to just six jurisdictions. And in 2019, more than 1,200 cases were reported across 31 states. That's the most since 1992. Up next on Good Morning Northwest, one person is dead and two others are in stable condition following an active shooting situation in Jacksonville Beach, Florida, Sunday night. And a look outside our Dust Devils sky cam in Pasco. It's a little bit of a chilly morning, but it is going to be a beautiful day. Meteorologist Tiffany Savona has your full forecast. We'll be right back. I've been with U.S. Cellular for years now, and I think I'm their biggest fan. So they asked me to tell you about their special customer event, Us Days. Us Days means exclusive deals just for us customers, like up to $1,200 to upgrade to any new phone. So I said, if I'm going to be on TV, do you think I can get hair and makeup? And I even got a manicure, too. Introducing Us Days at U.S. Cellular. Exclusive offers just for our customers. Get up to $1,200 to upgrade to any new phone. <laughs> Bipolar One, I got help to push back. I got help to push back. We got help to push back with Libalvi. One Steli prescription Libalvi is proven to treat manic or mixed episodes of bipolar one in adults to help you push back. Elderly patients with dementia have increased risk of death or stroke. Do not take Libalvi if you are taking opioids or are in opioid withdrawal. The semidorphin in Libalvi can cause severe opioid withdrawal that can lead to hospitalization or increased risk of life-threatening overdose. Get emergency help if you have trouble breathing, become very drowsy with slowed or shallow breathing, feel faint, very dizzy or confused, or have a fever, stiff muscles, rash, swollen glands, or problems with your liver, kidneys, heart, or lungs. Other serious side effects may include high cholesterol, weight gain, potentially fatal high blood sugar, uncontrolled body movements, which may be permanent, dizziness upon standing or falls. Are you ready? Ask your doctor about Libalvi. You may be eligible to save with the Libalvi Copay Savings Program. Visit Libalvi.com. When a rookie stunt driver meets the trainer who thought he'd seen it all. Again. There's bound to be action. But this is no ordinary blockbuster. It's a Nissan sales event ad, so you better act fast. Don't miss your chance to drive away in a new Nissan. Let's roll.
Hurry into the Nissan Thrill of the Drive sales event. Get 1.9% financing for 60 months on the 2023 Nissan Rogue or get 2.9% financing for 36 months on Frontier. Hanging lights is really hard work and takes too much time. Introducing the Star Shower Ultra 9 Laser Light Show. Now with an incredible nine different decorative light patterns for you to choose from that immerse your entire home with thousands of spectacular lights. You can select red and green lights that move like shooting stars or instead have your lights blinking or choose twinkling stillness. Star Shower has an automatic light sensor that will turn it on at night and off in the morning. Plus it's weather resistant and can withstand freezing temperatures. Temperatures. Call or go online now to order Star Shower Ultra 9 for just $29.99 and ask about how to get the Star Shower remote. All it takes is the press of a button to change all nine functions. Star Shower sells out every single year, so this year there's a strict limit of three per order. This offer is not available on Amazon, so call or click now. Call 1-800-617-3097 or visit Ultra9.com. So call 1-800-617-3097 or visit Ultra9.com now. The Centennial Trail. Fly the Northwest. Apple Valley News Now at 6, Tuesday. From Apple Valley News Now, first alert weather with Tiffany Savona. And welcome back to Good Morning Northwest. Let's talk about those 70s. Weren't they nice? Yesterday we topped out at 73 both in the Tri-Cities and in Yakima. And check this out. The average date of our first 70 degree day is March 23rd in the Tri-Cities, April 3rd in Yakima. So we already hit our 70 degree day this far this season. So we are a little bit ahead of schedule, which I'm sure no one is complaining about. In fact, we are one day away from the start of the spring season. Spring officially kicks off tomorrow evening at 8.06 tomorrow night. We're taking a live look out of our Richland Skycam here, courtesy of Legends Casino Hotel, our official sunrise 702, sunset 707. So the amount of daylight hours continuing to increase as our days get longer as we approach the start of the summer season. Temperatures are in the 30s and 40s. It's a chilly start this morning. We're down to 36 in the Tri-Cities, down to 36 in Yakima, and 48 degrees in Walla Walla. So not quite, not quite as cold along the foothills of the Blues. There's not much to track on our satellite and radar imagery. All is quiet across the Pacific Northwest. That is because high pressure is in control. When we have high pressure in control, we are dry and temperatures are usually warmer than average. And that's going to be the case today. You can see this ridge of high pressure impacting the entire Pacific Northwest, giving us all very nice weather today. Tomorrow, that high pressure still overhead. Tomorrow will likely be the warmest day of the week. In fact, record warmth will be possible as those record highs could be in jeopardy. Now that area of high pressure starts to shift a little bit farther south. So we start to cool down a little bit, but it's still going to be pretty nice Wednesday and Thursday. But our storm system offshore will allow for a little bit more cloud cover across the Columbia Basin. And then we're talking rain chances with this system as we head toward the end of the week and into the weekend. But for today, enjoy it, especially if you have the day off. You picked a beautiful day to have off. 75 for your high temperature in the Tri-City, 72 Walla Walla, 75 in Hermiston, and 76 in Toppenish. The record high to beat in the Tri-City, 78. It's a record that has stood the test of time, 1911. That record will probably remain on the safe side. Tonight, clear and chilly. We drop down into the low and middle 40s area wide. And tomorrow, I think we'll have better chances of getting closer to that record. 76 in Tri-Cities. The record high to beat 77 set back in 1934. Highs around 74 in Walla Walla, 77 in Toppenish, and 75 in Yakima. So over the next two days, it's going to feel more like the middle of May compared to the middle of March. So take advantage, enjoy it. Temperatures start to cool, like I mentioned, Wednesday and Thursday. We're down in the 60s, but that's still above average for this time of year. And then rain chances are back in play by the end of the week, increasing on Saturday. Yakima, 75 today and tomorrow. We're down into the middle 60s on Wednesday, 61 Thursday with more clouds. Upper 50s on Friday, and we're in the 50s as we head into the weekend. In Walla Walla, 72. That should be your first 70-degree day of the season. 74 tomorrow, and then chances for showers 
are back starting Thursday, increasing Friday and Saturday. Hermiston 75 today, 76 tomorrow, and the middle 60s Wednesday, Thursday. Riley. Thank you, Tiffany. Now to that deadly violence amid a weekend of celebrations along the Florida coast. Shots rang out in Jacksonville Beach, Florida, sending people running for their lives. Three people were shot. One of them did not survive. Here's ABC's Derek Dennis. This morning, deadly violence rocking a spring break hotspot in Florida. Police in Jacksonville Beach say gunfire erupted in the city's beachfront bar district out in the open, leaving one person dead and two in critical condition. Damn, they shoot no. Just stay down. Video show people running on the beach for cover as shots ring out in the distance. It's a busy weekend. This is Players Weekend. It's St. Patrick's Day. It's spring break. We have a lot going on out here. It's unclear what led to the shooting. Investigators overnight said they believe there were multiple gunmen on the run. We're still trying to figure out just due to the scope of the area. So we've got uh, we've got a lot of work ahead of us to figure out everything, put all the pieces together. Law enforcement has been on alert across Florida with spring break underway. Officials in Miami Beach imposed a midnight curfew over the weekend, prompting a lawsuit from nightclubs. But a judge ruled against the clubs, saying the three-night curfew did not cause irreparable harm. Now the large crowds looking to keep the party going have flocked north. Our Andrew Dimbert is there. There's been a bit of a party pilgrimage, you could say, from Miami Beach up here to Fort Lauderdale Beach. Already there have been arrests and crimes here, according to authorities, including even battery on an officer. On New Smyrna Beach, south of Daytona, a teenager pulled a gun during a fight on a crowded beach. A deputy officer quickly intervened, arresting the 16-year-old. Back to the shooting on Jacksonville Beach. Police overnight did not release details about the victims. They're promising an update this morning. When we return on Good Morning Northwest, an interesting space discovery as astronomers using the James Webb Space Telescope say they found common chemical ingredients found in vinegar around two young stars. That's coming. Time for a new roof? Let m and Roofing replace it with the product so good, you'll never have to replace it again. All roofs come with a limited lifetime warranty. Never replace your roof again. With the rain and wind comes roof damage. Don't wait till it's an emergency. Call today to receive 0% financing on approved credit. So if it's time for a new roof or siding, let Eminent Roofing replace it with our certified installers. Because when it's all said and done, this is a sign you'll want your yard. Shelby's Floral, your homegrown neighbor with worldwide connections for over 45 years. Shelby's, more than just a flower shop, specializing in beautiful customer arrangements, live plants, silk florals, and home decor. We're unique and we're here for all of life's occasions, all year long. Shelby's Floral at the corner of Clearwater and Edison in Kennewick. Stop by today and let our experienced designers help you with all of your floral needs. Shelby's Floral. At GMA, we love dogs, love dogs. And this week, we're about to reveal live only on GMA, the most popular dog breeds right now. So what dogs made the list? This Pops. is gonna be a big one. If you're hurt at work, your life can go into a downward spiral. You're injured, you can't work, your bills are piling up. But winning workers' comp benefits isn't easy. You're the underdog. We'll fight laboring industries to get you the workers' compensation benefits you deserve. If you were hurt at work, let us go to work to get you benefits. Call 509-584-4411 for a free consultation. Bothwell and Hamill. I've been dying to take up bridge. We Said bridge. no one ever. <laughs> <laughs> Next live with Kelly and Mark, Palm Royale's Ricky Martin, plus Bush Performs. Today at 9 on Apple Valley News Now.
For 600 different cigars and 125 pipe tobaccos, it's the Educated Cigar. For every cigar rated 96 and higher by Cigar Aficionado, it's the Educated Cigar. For 200 accessories, including dozens of humidors and fine pipes, it's the Educated Cigar. At the Educated Cigar, you can enjoy your favorite adult beverage and food from the on-site bar and restaurant while smoking and viewing the big game. Family owned and operated since 1998, open seven days a week. After this woman died in lockup, should local jails do more to protect inmates? Wednesday. Welcome back. The James Webb Space Telescope has just made an unusual discovery deep in the stars. So check this out. According to NASA, astronomers have detected two young stars that are surrounded by a by common chemical ingredients found in vinegar, ant stings, and even margaritas. They observed acidic acid, which is a component of alcohol. The team also found sulfur dioxide, which scientists believe sulfur Furious compounds might have played a key role for life to form on Earth. The chemical molecules detected around the stars could be crucial ingredients for potentially habitable worlds. Coming up on Good Morning Northwest, former President Donald Trump is facing backlash after saying some immigrants who come to the U.S. are not people but animals. And Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu is following through with his plan to invade Rafa, while over a million civilians are trapped in the city. In today's Tech Bytes, Apple is expected to release two new AirPod models this fall. It's reported to be the biggest AirPod launch yet with 25 million units. The new designs will be reportedly fitting better and come with USB-C charging cases. And one model will have active noise cancellation. The Supreme Court is hearing arguments today on whether the White House violated free speech protections when it urged social media platforms to remove misinformation about COVID. The plaintiffs claim the tech companies were coerced and they say it amounts to censorship. The government says it made no threats and there were no consequences for not complying. Finally, LinkedIn is getting into the gaming industry. The platform known mostly for networking confirms it's developing several puzzle-based games. No word on when or if the games will roll out. Those are your Tech Bytes. I'm Derek Dennis. Have a great day. So I didn't think I needed Swiffer until I saw how easily it picked up my hair every time I dried it. It only takes a minute. <laughs> Look at that. The heavy duty cloths are extra thick for amazing trap and lock, even for his hair. Wow. And for dust, I love my heavy duty duster. The fluffy fibers trap dust on contact, up high and all around without having to lift a thing. <laughs> I'm so hooked. You'll love Swiffer or your money back. Mucinex Night Shift starts working at bedtime to fight your worst nighttime symptoms. How could you? And leaves your system fast. By the time you wake up, you're ready to take on the day. Try it and feel the difference. Mucinex Night Shift. It's comeback season. Stanley Steamer is proud to be the leader in deep cleaning, cleaning over 1 million homes and businesses across America every year. We remove the buildup of dirt, dust, and grime from your home and business. Call your local Stanley Steamer. Right now on Good Morning Northwest, former President Donald Trump is on the defensive for comments made on the campaign trail this weekend, saying there would be a bloodbath for the country if he doesn't win the 2024 general election. The U.S. is scrambling to save civilians in Rafah as Netanyahu doubles down on his plan for a ground invasion. And meteorologist Tiffany Savona has your full forecast. Good Morning Northwest starts right now. This is Apple Valley News Now. Good morning, Northwest. On your side. Good morning and thank you for joining us for Good Morning Northwest. I'm Riley Fitzgerald. It's 529 on Monday, March 18th. So let's check in right away this morning on your forecast with meteorologist Tiffany Savona. Tiffany, it was a, a little bit too warm for a lot of us this weekend. Are we going to be seeing that a lot more today? We are a little bit too warm, Riley. 
All right. Well, we are going to warm things up a little bit more as we head into today and tomorrow. I think it's going to be a beautiful day, but if the middle 70s are too warm for you, we have some cooler weather in the forecast by the end of the week. We're taking a live look at our Legends Casino hotel camera right now overlooking Richland and all is quiet. Official sunrise 7 O2 in the Tri Cities. Now our temperatures are on the chilly side. We're in the 30s at 36 in the Tri Cities, 39 in Hanford, 36 in Yakima. Not quite as chilly in Walla Walla and Dayton. We're at 48 Walla Walla and 43 degrees in Dayton. So as you head out the door this morning, you will certainly need that jacket, but you can get rid of it this afternoon and you will need the shades all day long. We're looking at wall to wall sunshine and this evening you can put those windows down. Temperatures will be topping out in the middle 70s. Remember sunset isn't until after seven o'clock. So a lot of you will have time to maybe take a walk, take the dog for a walk after work this evening. That cooler weather will let you know when it arrives, when rain returns. Coming up, Bradley. Thank you, Tiffany. Former President Trump's campaign team is working to clarify his use of the word a bloodbath when describing what would happen if he's not elected. Trump's team says he was only talking the auto industry. Democrats say he was threatening political violence. ABC's Perry Rossum is in Washington. Fallout from former President Trump using the word bloodbath when describing what would happen to the auto industry if he's not elected. We're going to put a 100% tariff on every single car that comes across the line, and you're not going to be able to sell those guys if I get elected. Now, if I don't get elected, it's going to be a bloodbath for the whole. That's going to be the least of it. Trump making the comments at a rally in Ohio on Saturday. We just have to win this election because he's even predicting a bloodbath. What does that mean? He's going to exact a bloodbath? A senior advisor for Trump's campaign team says he was only talking about economics, writing, Joe Biden's insane EV mandate will slaughter the American auto industry. It is incredibly important that that be accurately portrayed. President Biden's campaign team slamming Trump. What I heard was a continuation of the same rhetoric, the same endorsement of political violence that we've seen from Donald Trump for years. Mike Pence, who is not endorsing Trump for president, defending his former boss. But the president was clearly talking. Uh, about the impact of, of imports devastating the American automotive industry. Trump's bloodbath comment coming in the same speech where he said this about migrants. If you call them people, I don't know if you call them people. In some cases, they're not people, in my opinion. Some Republicans on Capitol Hill questioning Trump's choice of words. The general tone of the speech is why, is why many Americans continue to wonder, should President Trump be president? Trump on Fox yesterday. If you don't use certain rhetoric, mm -hmm. if you don't use certain words that maybe are not very nice words, uh, nothing will happen. Also in that speech in Ohio, Trump asked the crowd to stand and pay tribute to those who attacked the Capitol on January 6th. Trump has promised if he wins to free people who were convicted for that attack. President Biden's fundraising efforts for re-election are gaining momentum. Biden's campaign brought in $53 million in February. That amount, along with, Democrat, uh, with general Democratic fundraising, helped bring Biden's total to $155 million at the end of February. That's the most cash any Democratic presidential candidate has ever had in this stage in the election cycle. With that money, Biden's team is expected to scale up its operation in battleground states in the next couple of weeks, and that includes opening 100 offices and hiring 350 staffers. The U.S. is voicing concerns over civilian safety in Gaza, with Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu doubling down yesterday on his vow to invade Rafah. He promises to evacuate the more than a million civilians there, but U.S. officials are skeptical. Getting innocent people out could be even harder than getting aid in. It's so difficult the U.S. and other countries are building a floating dock to access Rafah by water. Meanwhile, President Joe Biden is reiterating his call for a immediate cease, or for a ceasefire and ultimately a two-state solution. Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer calls Netanyahu an obstacle to such peace, drawing a rebuke from the Prime Minister yesterday. It's inappropriate for, uh, uh, to go to a sister democracy and try to replace the elected leadership there. The fact that Israel's most staunch defender in the U.S. Congress, Chuck Schumer, should be making these remarks should be an earthquake in Israel. 
Southern Gaza shares a border with Egypt, and the European Union is working with Egypt to handle refugees. It announced $8 billion worth of new support yesterday. Up next on Good Morning Northwest, a major recall of a popular kitchen appliance sold at a major electronics retailer. We'll tell you what you should look out for coming up next. And a live look outside right now in Pasco through the Dust Devil Sky Cam. Chilly this morning. It's going to be a nice, beautiful day. Meteorologist Tiffany Savona has your first alert full fo forecast. We'll be right back. I don't want to fly inside, Joey. I would rather leave. You okay? No. Maria and I had a connection. It's undeniable. Like, it's kind of like that what could have been situation. The Honda you want is here. So drive in the moment with the versatile CRV or Accord. Both named a car and driver 10 best. And when you drive a Honda, you're driving with the 2023 Kelly Blue Books KBB.com best value brand. Buy online, reserve from select dealers, or hurry into your local Honda dealer today. Bruce Heating and Air, your comfort is our business. With over 30 years of professional HVAC experience for residential and commercial properties, you can rest assured your heating and air system is in good hands. In addition to providing quality heating, air conditioning, ventilation, and installation services, Bruce Heating and Air also houses a full-service sheet metal fabrication shop. Now through March 31st, receive rebates up to $1,600 off on a new Daikin Fit System and thermostat when you finance through Bruce Heating and Air. Terms and conditions apply. See dealer for details. Are you an experienced machinist? We have a job for you. Pasco Machine is hiring now. We offer generous wages, overtime, double time, full medical, paid holidays, and four-day work schedule. Apply online today at pascomachine.com. When Fred's advertises it, we've got it. Fred's warehouses are loaded with inventory. When your fridge stops working, you need a new one and you need it now. Fred's has them in stock. The box stores never have this much inventory on hand. You can wait weeks for delivery. At Fred's, get your new appliance the next day. Fred's always has the guaranteed lowest price and shows you competitors' prices on our price tag. Fred's Appliance. We sell appliances, only appliances. Before you head for the slopes, catch the Apple Valley News Now Northwest Ski Report. It's on air during weather, online at applevalleynewsnow.com or on our mobile app. The Northwest Ski Report from Apple Valley News Now, sponsored by Schweitzer Mountain Resort in Sandpoint, Idaho. Next ET. We got a lot of a lot of representing to do. Queen Latifah hosts, and we're backstage with the stars at the NAACP Image Awards, plus Paul Rudd's Ghostbusters oh, oh, oh. return. Next ET. Tonight at 7 on Apple Valley News Now. The Centennial Trail. Fly the Northwest. Apple Valley News Now at 6, Tuesday. Welcome back. Best Buy has recalled more than 250,000 insignia air fryers due to fire, burn, and laceration hazards. No injuries have been reported, but the company has received two dozen reports of the air fryer handles overheating and the glass door shattering. There have been six reports of the air fryers catching on fire. The Insignia air fryers were sold at Best Buys in the U.S. and Canada, online or through third-party sellers from November 2021 through November of last year. Customers are advised to immediately stop using them. Don't try to return the air fryers to Best Buy. Instead, affected customers can register for a refund or store credit by going to Best Buy's website. The Federal Communications Commission is cracking down on cable TV junk fees. The FCC said cable and satellite companies will now be required to list all-in prices in billing and marketing materials. That also includes any miscellaneous fees like those related to sports programming or local broadcast channels. The federal government wants consumers to know up front exactly how much they'll pay for services. The rule aims to help consumers comparison shop among different uh, providers. 
The FCC cited a filing that Consumer Reports submitted to the agency. It alleged that cable companies publicly advertise relatively low base rates to lure customers in before imposing a dizzying array of other charges. The cable industry has pushed back, saying its current practice of breaking out fees into separate line items is a much more is a more transparent approach. It's unclear when the rule goes into effect. Reddit says the Federal Trade Commission is looking into the company's plans to license its platform content to artificial intelligence companies. The social media plat uh, company says made the disclosure Friday in a securities filing. It comes ahead of Reddit's long-anticipated initial public offering, almost 20 years after its launch. It will be the first uh, social media platform to go public in years. Reddit said it does not believe it has violated U.S. consumer protection law. The company has a deal worth a reported $60 million per year to share its platform data with Google in order to train the tech giant's AI models. Reddit and some of its stockholders plan to offer 22 million shares of the company's stock for between $31 and $34 a share in its IPO. That would make IPO worth as much as $748 million. There's a vast difference of opinion about how, lo uh, how long Sam Bankman Fried should go to prison. The Federal Probation Department has recommended a 100-year sentence for him, but even the attorneys who prosecuted him say that's too much. The maximum penalty he, re he could receive for defrauding investors out of at least $8 billion through his FTC cryptocurrency exchange is 110 years. Prosecutors told the court due to his young age of 32, sending him to prison for life is not warranted. Instead, they want him to be imprisoned for 40 to 50 years. That would have him out when he's 72 to 82 years old. Bankman Fried's lawyers say a sentence of no more than six and a half years is appropriate. His sentencing hearing is scheduled for March 28th. Up next on Good Morning Northwest, last month, five mountain bikers were attacked by a cougar on the trail. Now they're sharing what happened. And a look outside right now, 36 degrees in Pasco through the Dust Devil sky cam. Chilly morning, but we're going to be reaching the 70s today across much of the region. Meteorologist Tiffany Savona has your first alert full forecast. We'll be right back. After this woman died in lockup, should local jails do more to protect inmates? Wednesday. You work hard for your money, and now you can get money back on state taxes you already paid with the Washington State Working Families Tax Credit. Visit workingfamiliescredit.wa.gov. The White Card, a powerful resource for former Hanford and DUE employees. If you worked in the area and have come down with cancer, lung disease, Parkinson's, or renal failure, you may be eligible for financial compensation and health care services. A simple phone call can get the process started. Atomic Home Health. Don't wait. Call today. How does free college or training sound? It's possible. Washington College Grant gives eligible people money for certificate programs, job training, apprenticeships, or college. Learn more at wagrant.org. That's wagrant.org. Hit by a big truck in bad weather? There's a law that says truck drivers have a legal duty to use extreme caution when driving in hazardous conditions. Knowing these laws sets my truck wreck team apart. How much are Mariana Morales, the big truck heavy hitter? Big truck insurance companies know that we have the knowledge and experience to get you paid everything you deserve. Hit by a big truck, our team knows truck wrecks and how to win for you. How much are Mariana Morales, the big truck heavy hitter? The heavy hitter is one for you. Call 853 Good news. For years, Washington Realtors embraced some of the most consumer-friendly practices in the nation, putting fairness and transparency at the heart of the home buying process, providing clients with the duties of their real estate broker in the transaction, along with a written agreement explaining the cost of brokerage services and receiving and signing this agreement up front. Now, these principles are not just industry standard, they're state law. Transparency in Real Estate, brought to you by Washington Realtors. Is your broker a realtor? When it's more than just your lawn, it deserves the Kubota Z400. When you need a head-turning offer on class-leading speed, agility, durability, simple deck height adjustments, and a professional-grade cut, then you need the Kubota Z400 mower. 
Now get the Z400 mower for zero down, 0% APR for 48 months, or save $300. Find a Kubota dealer near you at GoKubota.com. Oh my gosh, wow. Who am I? Wow, is that really me? <laughs> Hi, I'm Jonathan Greenhut, the CEO of Plexiderm. All it takes is 10 minutes to reduce the appearance of under eye bags, wrinkles, and crow's feet. The instant results are from naturally based silicates found in shell clay. Once applied, your skin tightens and firms. Take action with our Plexiderm 10-minute challenge. Try it today for only $14.95, plus get free shipping. Visit PlexidermTrial.com or call the number on your screen. Take advantage of the tax credits you can, including the annual Washington State Working Families Tax Credit. You can get money back on state taxes already paid. Visit workingfamiliescredit.wa.gov. From Apple Valley News Now, First Alert Weather with Tiffany Savona. Good morning and happy Monday, everyone. Hopefully you enjoyed the weather yesterday. We made it into the 70s in Yakima and the Tri-Cities. If you didn't get to enjoy it, well, you have another day to do it. Today, we're going to be back in the 70s. In fact, near record warmth is looking likely today and tomorrow. Spring officially begins tomorrow at 8.06, but it's already feeling like spring here across the Columbia Basin. And with these warmer temperatures, comes allergy season. So the trees starting to bloom. Here's the allergy forecast, and this is primarily for tree pollen. It's going to be in that medium high range today and tomorrow, and then rising as we go toward the end of the week. So if you're allergic to tree pollen, be aware of that and have your medications ready to go. We're taking a live look out of our Legends Casino Hotel Skycam, official sunrise here in the Tri-City, 702 sunset at 707. Don't you love the later sunsets when the weather is nice? Gives you an opportunity to get outside for a little bit after work. Temperatures this morning on the chilly side. We are in the 30s for many locations, 36 in the Tri-Cities. We're still at 36 in Yakima, 40 in Toppenish, and we're sitting in the upper 40s across the foothills of the Blue, so not nearly as cool in those locations. There's not much to show you on our satellite and radar imagery, and that's a nice change because the weather is going to stay quiet over the next few days, and that's all thanks to this big blue H. A ridge of high pressure has built in, will continue to strengthen today and tomorrow. That's why our temperatures will continue to rise, and we're going to wait for this area of high pressure to shift to the south. It'll do so on Wednesday. So we'll start to cool things down a little bit. It's still going to be a pretty nice day. And we'll start to see more clouds as this area of low pressure gets a little bit closer to pushing on shore. And that area of low pressure is going to be our next weather maker as we run out the week and head into the upcoming weekend. But for today, enjoy the sunshine, a beautiful mid-March afternoon. It'll feel more like the middle of May, 75 in the Tri-City, 74 Prosser, 72 Walla Walla. In the Tri-Cities, the record high to beat is 78, set back in 1911. So we'll probably keep that on the safe side today with temperatures ending up just below it. Tonight, clear and chilly. We're down into the low and middle 40s. And tomorrow, we'll do it all over again. We'll be a little bit closer to that record high of 77 in the Tri-City, set back in 1934. 76 for your high tomorrow in Tri-City, 75 in Yakima, 74 Walla Walla, and 77 in Toppenish. Now, we will see clear skies today, tomorrow. So tomorrow, you may be able to spot the ISS. And I say may because it's going to be pretty low in the sky, the maximum height of the horizon, 40 degrees. So that's pretty low. But if you want to try to check it out, the weather will cooperate. The time to check it out will be tomorrow at 8.18. The pass will be six minutes, and you'll want to look across the western sky as that begins. Your 10 or seven day forecast rather showing that we're going to keep it in the middle 70s today. Tomorrow we start to cool it down Wednesday, Thursday, but even those mid number 60s, not bad, still above average. We have a chance for a few showers Friday with better chances on Saturday, but it will turn cooler. We go back down in the 50s this upcoming weekend. 75 today, tomorrow in Yakima, middle 60s on Wednesday with rain chances back in play Saturday and Sunday. Riley. Thank you, Tiffany. Last month, reports came in from the west side about a group of bikers who were attacked by a cougar. Now they're sharing their story. Julie Calhoun has reports. 
<laughs> <laughs> They're amazing. Carrie, Annie, and Tish are competitive cyclists and have been riding together for at least five years. But on February 17th, a ride would turn into a fight for Carrie's life. We remember it all, I think. And yeah. We all remember it a little differently, so um, that's good because it helps us put our puzzle pieces together. That Saturday afternoon, a group of five women started riding from Trisha's home in North Bend and made it up to Tokel Creek Trail near Snoqualmie, then 19 miles into their ride. The cougars ran out from the brush on the right side of the road, and they kind of ran between the two groups of, of us, and um, one went up into the woods, um, and the other one changed his mind and decided to uh, tackle Carrie. The women say it happened in the blink of an eye, and the young cougar dragged Carrie off her bike and had her face gripped in its mouth. The women jumped into action to save their friend. I immediately tried to choke the cougar, which was like choking a rock. We were just, we were just like hand-to-hand -hand combat battling this thing. 15 minutes into the battle, a small moment of release, and Carrie was able to get away. I knew every second what was going on, and I was doing my own, you know, poking at it and trying to poke his eyeballs out and get up his nose and pry his mouth with my hand. The group managed to hold the cougar down with the bike. An official wildlife officer arrived and shot and killed the cougar. The whole ordeal lasting 45 minutes. My nerves are... Carrie suffered severe trauma to her face and permanent nerve damage. But says thanks to her friends, she made it out alive. I know for a fact I would be dead if they didn't come back in. I, I would just be gone. First degree animal cruelty is now a ranked felony uh, following a new law in Washington state. House Bill 1961 was signed by Governor Inslee, which increases the penalty for those convicted of animal abuse. This law makes all instances of animal cruelty a serious level three offense. Supporters say this will allow courts to stop with lenient sentencing. When we return on Good Morning Northwest, when it comes to caring for wild animals, rescuers need to be very careful how they handle it, which means sometimes they'll turn to less conventional methods. We'll take a look next. Danny was rear-ended by a semi-truck. Serious injuries. Mariano's reputation and experience gave him an advantage over the insurance company. Daniel got paid a lot. He lives up to his reputation, which is somebody who gets results. Call 853 It's here, it's now, the Grand National RV Show at r, &R RV North Spokane, March 14th through the 23rd. Shop over 140 RVs inside the West Coast's largest indoor showroom. Motorhomes, camper vans, fifth wheels, and trailers. The time to buy is now. The Grand National RV Show, March 14th through the 23rd, indoors at r, &R RV North Spokane. Special show pricing, giveaways, and food vendors on site. Visit r, &R -R -V com. I've been with U.S. Cellular for years now, and I think I'm their biggest fan. So they asked me to tell you about their special customer event, Us Days. Us Days means exclusive deals just for us customers, like up to $1,200 to upgrade to any new phone. So I said, if I'm going to be on TV, do you think I can get hair and makeup? And I even got a manicure, too. Introducing Us Days at U.S. Cellular. Exclusive offers just for our customers. Get up to $1,200 to upgrade to any new phone. <laughs> There's no other word quite like home, because it's more than any specific place. It could be in the team spirit that keeps your heart pounding the whole drive over the mountains. It could be in the friendships that make you able to laugh at yourself. It's a feeling, a belonging, and that's really different for everyone. So while we can't define what home is to you, what we can do is help you get there. Find your way home in a new Mercedes-Benz GLC 300 for only $6.29 a month from Mercedes-Benz of Tri-Cities. For 600 different cigars and 125 pipe tobaccos, it's the Educated Cigar. For every cigar rated 96 and higher by Cigar Aficionado, it's the Educated Cigar. For 200 accessories, including dozens of humidors and fine pipes, it's the Educated Cigar. At the Educated Cigar, you can enjoy your favorite adult beverage and food from the on-site bar and restaurant while smoking and viewing the big game. Family owned and operated since 1998, open seven days a week. 
Wild Horse Resort and Casino is celebrating 29 years with a $150,000 anniversary Jeep giveaway. Beep, beep, win a Jeep for $20,000 cash. Play with your club wild card to earn entries every day or download our mobile app. Play the game and win bonus Jeep entries. Play with your club wild card to earn entries and win up to $1,600 every Friday and Saturday. Then drive off in a new Jeep Wrangler or take home $20,000 cash on Saturday, March 30. Wild Horse Resort and Casino. More winners, more often. Celebrating 29 years. Danny was rear-ended by a semi-truck. Serious injuries. Mariano's reputation and experience gave him an advantage over the insurance company. Daniel got paid a lot. He lives up to his reputation, which is somebody who gets results. Call 853 Should this woman have died in the Franklin County Jail? Watch Wednesday. come back to our close to home forecast in just a little bit. A newborn fox needed a mom, so a wildlife rescuer in Virginia stepped in to help, but she took a unique approach by dressing up like a fox to make sure the kit doesn't become domesticated. CNN's Jeannie Moose unmasks the stand-in mama. You have to be pretty sly to fool a fox, but maybe not an itty bitty baby fox with eyes barely open. Meet the lady under the mask. It was a bargain from Amazon. I think it was like $30 maybe. That looks good for 30 bucks. This baby fox arrived at the Richmond, Virginia Wildlife Center when it was barely a day old. A dog walker found her in an alley. They were looking at what everyone thought was a kitten. Executive Director Melissa Stanley says she dons the masks so that the baby doesn't get comfortable with humans. Though the fox's vision is blurry. I don't want her to see the silhouette of a human. I don't want her to hear a human voice for the very first thing that she sees in this world. She'll be better off once she's released if she fears people. Can we get you to model it? <laughs> sure. She can even move her mouth. Every time my chin moves, if I over-exaggerate it, it will move the mouth. But looking at this thing... What does the fox say? A half-blind baby might go for it, but if an adult fox saw this, it would probably giggle. <laughs> Genie Mouse, CNN, New York. I can't tell if that's more terrifying or adorable. The baby fox is definitely adorable, but that mask is a little too scary for me. Coming up in our next hour of Good Morning Northwest, a suspect has been identified in the fatal shooting that took place in Ellensburg Friday afternoon. And with rising concern over the safety of air travel, a Boeing flight lost part of its plane on a flight from San Francisco to Medford. And meteorologist Tiffany Savona has your full forecast. Good morning, Northwest starts right now. This is Apple Valley News Now. Good morning, Northwest on your side. Good morning and thank you for joining us for Good Morning Northwest. I'm Riley Fitzgerald in for Jessica Jalal this morning. It is 557 on March 18th, 2020. Four. Let's check in right away this morning on your forecast with meteorologist Tiffany Savona. So Tiffany, what can we expect as we're waking up this morning? Good morning, Riley. We're starting off chilly this morning, but we have another warm day on tap across the Columbia Basin and across the entire Pacific Northwest. So if you enjoyed the weather yesterday, you're going to enjoy it today and even tomorrow as well. We're taking a live look out of our Legends Casino Hotel Skycam this morning. All is quiet, no visibility issues as you head off to work on this Monday. Official sunrise, 702. Our temperatures are kind of all over the map. We're in the 30s in many spots, 37 in the Tri-Cities, 36 in Yakima, 32 in Ellensburg, but many of us in the 40s too. So we're at 44 in Walla Walla, 41 in Dayton, 40 degrees at Hanford, and 40 in Hermiston. Here's what you could expect today in the Tri-Cities. We're going to warm up very quickly, middle 60s by 